What is going on, comic book community? Welcome back to another episode of Josh's Comics. Uh, this video is dropping on Saturday, which is interesting, because I don't think I've ever done a video on Saturday, but we're checking out uh, a Part 2 comic haul. Um, last Saturday was King Kong 5. That video and haul was already out. If you haven't done so, please go over and check it out. Uh, great books. But we're checking out the Philadelphia Comic Con that happened on Sunday. Wasn't planning on going, ended up going, and I'm glad I did because I picked up some great books. I also picked up one huge grail that I'm stroked to have in the collection, and I can't wait to show you when we come back. Stay tuned for this next episode of Josh's Comics. Welcome back, guys. I took a little quick uh, bird view of the con. Um, you've already saw it in previous videos. You know what to expect. And um, it's, a, it's a nice small local con. Um, happens like every other Sunday of the year. And uh, I actually have a flyer. So the next time it's going to go down will be June 2nd. Um... 10 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. It's a great event, actually. And it's got... It, it's got some good vendors. I mean, I don't want to say bad vendors. It's got good vendors. This time, the show... Um, because King Kong was the previous day, and WrestleMania also happened on the same weekend. Night, night 2 was happening on Sunday. And I know a lot of the people who show up to the Philadelphia Con are wrestling fans as well, and there's other activities in the um, city going on. So it, it was a, it, it, a lot of people didn't show up. It was a smaller time. Um, it wasn't as packed as it is. And I'll be honest, some of the vendors I just felt like I know they mix it up from time to time. We do different deals. This time, I felt like it was a little off. Some some of the guys were actually at King Kong already and had a big turnout. And I think, you know, going in from Park Ridge, New Jersey, almost right across from New York, and then coming down to Philly. But anyway, um, I, I managed to pick up some great books. Um, I only bought from two vendors. Um, so, uh, small little haul, but some great key books and a huge grail that I can't wait to show you guys. So let's jump into the hall. Um, Dark Side vs. Galactus The Hunger. And this is actually a nice uh, DC Marvel team up book. And this is pretty much where Galactus sets out to go across uh, worlds and do his, his hunting. Oh, sorry, do his hunting and all that. And he runs into uh, Dark Side in his home planet. So it's a nice little key. A um, little bit of money, but I got this for two bucks. And it's in great shape. Um, I see like one spine tick. And that's about it. So I'm happy with it. I think it's going to be a great read, great pickup for the collection. Um, but moving on, I picked up one book from that vendor. Um, forgive me, I forget his name, but he's he's always got two dollars. His everything's two dollars, and he's always got five. Moving on, uh, the rest of the haul you're gonna see is from uh, two two cool dudes that I really like and enjoy talking to. And uh, here's the card: it's V8 Collectibles, Connor and Lewis. Great fun fact. Uh, V8 collectibles they are actually located here in my state of Delaware um, so I'm going to tell you about the grail story in a little bit but I was searching I picked up the grail home when I first walked in because we talked about it I'll tell you about that story in a little bit but I came back around and I went through the bins they had I, I want to say they had, I know they had marked as price stuff, and they also had, I think, $5 and under or something like that bins. Great stuff, by the way. Price is marked. I should have checked sooner because they had some great deals. Um, 
let's start off. Uh, Batman, Mr. Freeze, from Paul Dini, uh, animated series. This is the, f first of all, it's an origin of Mr. Freeze. It's the first full Nora Freeze, um, in comics. Before she debuted in the Batman, the animated series from Paul Dini. So, it's a nice little key in my opinion. I actually picked up a recent copy a few months ago at the same show from another seller, Rich and Famous. And, um... I, both copies, I think, are pretty high. I got to see which one is the highest and maybe the other one, um, you know, do a giveaway or something. But great book right for Batman. You know, we're always picking up the Batman PC. A uh, book you saw in the beginning. This is really cool. What if Wolverine had killed the Hawk? And Marvel has a great, great series of what if. And, um... I really like some of the books. I've recently picked up um, a few other What If issues that are coming in a different haul. But I wanted to pick this up. Um, notice this t the stickers. That was 10. This is 25. I talked to you about the deal and a little bit how you made it. But I made out pretty good. And um, this book actually is interesting. If on the cover, uh, up near Wolverine's Claws, it's, it, you can see a little bit of... Um, I want to say maybe dirt or residue. And there's some down here near Spider-Man as well. I don't know how well you guys are going to see that. So what I'm planning on doing is um, right across me, I have a long, uh, a long cabinet trash shelf kind of thing. I plan on cleaning that up. And uh, I want to get a presser and start cleaning some books and send it off to CGC this year. So... Um, not only did I pick this up because I wanted it, but you know what? Use a little pressing techniques and cleaning and see what I can do on it, um, for sure. But it's a great key, and I figured, you know, with, uh, um, Deadpool and Wolverine coming out in July, I'm hearing, I'm hearing that this might be at least mentioned. Maybe we might even see a, uh, battle. But still, it's a great key to have. Um, moving on, the rest of this haul, it's, 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 I didn't even think about this until I'm just doing this video. It leads up. Um, I'm a huge Hawkeye fan. I love the idea of Hawkeye because why he, his, he has um, heightened abilities with accuracy and everything. But he's still a normal person. Like He's like me and you. Doesn't have really superpowers. Normal person. And you can relate to him more. And it's like, you know, like... Like, not many people would sit there and say, Oh, I would be the Hawk or the Iron Man or the Captain America of the team. You'd be more of the Hawkeye of the team. And Hawkeye... I love Jer Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye. I'm hoping we get him back in uh, some of the shows and movies. I would love to see a Hawkeye Season 2. But, speaking of Hawkeye Season 2, I got some great keys featuring Kate Bishop who obviously the mantle was passed down um, to her for Hawkeye. And the same thing's happening on the shows and the movies. I'm all for it. I loved Hawkeye season one. Um, we got Young Avengers apparently happening. I'm, I'm, I'm hyped for that. I can't wait. And we also are going to see her in continu continuation of different films and shows. So moving on, um, Hawkeye number seven. I believe this is from her first solo run, um, but this is actually a nice little key. This is the first appearance of Eleanor Bishop, um, Kate's mother, who we got on the show, who in the end ends up going to jail because she did some shady, shady stuff. But sorry about the lighting. But a nice key, and like I said, this is part, this is marked in the five dollar and under stuff. So it's great to find this key. Um, my local second and Charles actually has this book, and I and I was gonna grab it, but the problem is like up in the top corner, it's creased very bad. And I mean, this book isn't something that you would want to send and get slab, but I would want a nice copy for the PC. So um, definitely pick that up. Great cover too. Um, moving on, we actually have some Hawkeye from the uh, fiction run, which featured. Kate and uh, Clint teaming up for the first time, and it's also the more of the stories based on for the show. Uh, this is a great issue. This is issue number 11, um, featuring Lucky, the pizza dog. 
He's a one-eyed pizza dog, or one-eyed dog retriever, and this is a point of view story from him. You see the story play out from his point of view. Um, great cover, and uh, I, I'm a big dog fan, so lucky, and I loved him in Hawkeye, and again, I, I think we'll see him in the future. I mean, it may not be big for other people, but for me, I, I, I love him, and um, this is a great, great cover and a great book to have. Um, issue number nine of the Faction Run, and this is the first appearance of the clown who is a uh, Russian mercenary, if I'm not mistaken, who Kate takes on, and I, I, I don't remember if he's in the show. I don't remember if he's with the Mafia or not, but it's his first appearance, um, potentially a villain that we could probably see in the future, maybe, if he hasn't already appeared in the show. Um, we'll have to see, but great cover featuring Kate, and... Uh, you know, need to have it for the PC. Now, the last book I picked up from the faction from the faction run, issue number two. It's the first uh, Kate Bishop and Clint team up. I do have a very nice copy of issue one, um, but issue two is when they team up, and this is one you know you get that from the show. So. I was extremely happy to pick this copy up. Um, it, looking at it, it does have a few ticks on it, but I think I can press them out. I mean, they look like they're pressable out, so might potentially send this in. I'll have to see what happens, but uh, happy, happy to add that to the collection. Again, shout out to uh, V8 Comics, but we're not done. So... The last book, big book. If you follow me on Instagram, you uh, probably already know what this book is. I've already showed it. Um, and maybe you just didn't catch it, though. A few, uh, a couple months ago, I was at the show. VA Comics is always at the Philadelphia show. They had a book on the wall. I, you know, hey, can I look at that? I'm looking at it and looking at it and... I was like, hey, you know, what's your best price? They told me what it was. Okay, well, I didn't have the money at the time. But tax season was around the corner, and I was like, all right, I come back. I said I should have my taxes by then. And uh, not that I'm banking on my tax return to help me buy these books, but it's nice to have a little bit of extra cash so that you can purchase bigger books. Finally... Went into them the f as soon as I walked into the show. And the great thing about the Philadelphia Comic Con this time was I got there about 9.30. and opened up at 10. Usually by 9.30 once you get there, there's not a whole lot, but there's quite a few people in line. Nobody. I was first in line probably for the first couple minutes by myself. Then I met a, another local buyer. Um, and then a few other people filled in. And by 10 o'clock, there was probably like me... Maybe 10, 15 people at the most ready to get in. But I went straight to V8 Comics. It's like, hey, let me take a look at that book again. They had a price sticker on this book. And, you know, I was like, hey, what's the best you can deal? And they're like, well, shoot an offer. I gave them an offer. They countered. And uh, I'll tell you about that offer in a minute. And uh, went up and I said, you know what? I think that's a good deal. I'm going to take it. Guys, this was on my top 10 want list. But this is one of the books of 2024 on the grill list that I felt like might be harder to get. Especially in the lower grade which I collect because this book is pricey. And it's a big book in my opinion. And uh, I'm happy I'm happy to own this. And again, shout out to VA Collectibles, to, uh, to Connor and Lewis. Uh, you, guys, you guys are amazing. Uh, Alright, so... Tales of Suspense, number 57. First Hawkeye. First Clint Barton. It's also, uh, I believe, the third Black Widow appearance. She's on the cover. Guys, I could not believe that I picked this book up. Um, the last month and a half, last two months, I picked up some big books for the collection. All on my grail, want list. I... <sighs> I, I, like I said, I thought this was going to be one of the harder ones to get. So, they were asking 375 on it. 
My offer was 300. They went up to 340, and I said deal. I got it. I felt that was more than enough. Um, you know, you're not gonna find this book in this grade. I don't think for a. a a better price and if you find it on eBay you're still gonna probably have to pay shipping and I was able to pick this up and take it home with me that day but let's take a look at the grade 3.0 um, I'm extremely happy with that there's the back I don't really care about the back too much but um, whoa 3.0 first Hawkeye and like I said, that's why I was doing all the Hawkeye issues last leading up to it. Extremely happy to own this and have it in the collection. It's a massive book. A beautiful book. And honestly, for a 3.0, I, I mean, off-white to white pages, you can't beat this. Um, this, is, this is a thing of history. This is a thing of, uh, you know... It, it, it's interesting because now it makes me wonder about my collecting goals. And now I'm thinking, like, man, I would love to own an Avengers 1. And I actually have a picture on Instagram I held an Avengers 1 at my local comic book shop. Um, didn't pull the trigger on it, though. It was way pricey. But, like, now I'm thinking, all right, I'm doing certain different, like, Batman Row Galleries, um, edition, Joker covers. Should I try collecting all of the first appearances of the original Avengers team? I don't know if I can pull that off, and I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna mention why, and probably you guys will know why too. Let's just start off. First appearance of Captain America. I don't think I don't think I will ever ha come across one. A B. I don't think I'll ever be able to afford it. Uh, two. S first appearance of Iron Man. Same thing. I, I maybe his first solo run or something, uh, but I will probably not be able to afford his first official appearance. Um, three. Incredible Hawk. Nah, it's just like I'm looking at pretty much the only other book I, I think I could probably pick up, um, Black Widow. But I don't know if she's part of the original team formation. But anyway, um, guys, I'm extremely happy to own this. I'm just rambling on, I know. But, like, this is a cool book. Um, first Hawkeye. I'm a huge, huge fan of Hawkeye. And it's just like Green Arrow, even though they're, like, literally, the ver you know, counter versions of each other. But... I just, I can relate more, I think a lot of us can relate more to Hawkeye than we could almost any other Avenger, because he's just, he's more grounded, realistic, he's he's an actual per you know, he doesn't have superpowers, radiation, um, tech suits and all that, uh, serum that makes him faster than anybody else and stronger, so, great pickup for the collection, another one off the list, um, but, you're going to see in the next couple of weeks, uh, I've already picked up a few other books behind the scenes on that list. Um, that's for another video. And I think I'm going to eventually do, and once I get those books in, I think I'm going to do an update of my um, 2024 want list. Because I think I only have like two or three books left. And I, I pretty much have a lead on all of the books that are left on the list. I either have them in motion to buy them or I'm looking at them and have a lead. I think there's one book that I'm kind of on the edge about and how I'm going to do it. But anyway, let's just celebrate having the first Hawkeye in the collection. Shrek to have this. Uh, Marvel Keys have been getting a lot of love for me lately. And uh, it's a great time to pick up, especially with you know not knowing how the um, state of the MCU is going. I feel like prices right now are the... It's probably the best time to buy, especially for DC as well, since we haven't gotten any big, big announcements yet. So get out there, guys. Um, again, check out V8 Comics. They are on Instagram, um, but you can call them or you can email them as well. And they will be at the Philadelphia show in June. And I know they go to other cons. Um, if you guys are looking for some great books, guys, they have, I know... Uh, last time they had a Justice League uh, 1 on the board, Justice League of America 1. Um, I mean, they got some heavy, heavy keys. Um, call them up or message them, and if you're looking for anything, hit those guys up. And uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to be watching us. So shout out to you guys again. Um, I'll be back in the June show, coming back here looking for some more books. So I appreciate you guys. 
appreciate everybody who has watched this video and who's listening to me still rambling on. Um, I appreciate you guys. Hit that like button and please subscribe. It, it would really help out the channel. Leave a comment. Let me know out of the hall. And a um, few little announcements, I guess, uh, for local shows coming up. Lehigh Valley, Lehigh Valley, Valley Show will actually be happening the day of this. Um, I'm pre-recording this, but this comes out Saturday. It will be happening on Saturday. I will not be going. Uh, I need to take care of some stuff in my life. Um, however, South Jersey Comic Con uh, in Swedesboro, New Jersey, will be happening the following week. Um, forget what day that is. I think the 20th or something like that uh, on Sunday, next Sunday, and then uh, back to Comic Fest, I believe it's April 27th. I will be there. It's a Saturday. It's a great event. Check out my other videos on it. I missed the last one, but I'm not missing this one. It's going to be a great time. Um, come hang out with us. I will do probably a more uh, in-depth video about back deck or maybe do an updated of one of those so you guys can see but yeah again guys thank you so much i appreciate everybody first hawkeyes in the collection it's a good time to collect we are moving along until next time stay safe take care of each other and as always we will see you on the next episode of josh's comics